The Arizona Elk Society is embarking on our largest and most critical wildlife habitat project to date. The Boggian Rim is crisscrossed with riparian meadows that are in dire need of restoration. These riparian meadows are important to elk and a host of other wildlife and endangered species, which depend on the water and forage for survival. Arizona manages more than 800 species, and many of them are tied to riparian areas because Arizona is a dry state. The East Clear Creek drainage where this work is going on is especially important because it's home to an exceptional variety, depth and breadth of threatened and endangered species. The East Clear Creek watershed is, is really in a, a unique area within the Coconino National Forest. Riparian areas are extremely important from the standpoint of flood dissipation, uh, water storage, and habitat for a diverse array of, of wildlife. The Long Valley riparian meadow system feeds to the Verde River and, in the end, supplies water to the East Valley of Metro Phoenix. Due to neglect, incorrect management, and usage decisions made in the past, stronger than normal rainstorms, and conifer encroachment, these meadows and the channel systems have failed and need to be restored. These meadows are very fragile. These meadows would originally act as sponges, slowing runoff, uh, especially winter runoff, down, letting it soak into the meadow system and they were very productive. These systems have eroded for one reason or another, whether it's soil compaction, overgrazing, vehicle traffic, lots of different reasons, but the flows have concentrated and they have eroded. When they erode, they concentrate flows and they lower the water table in the meadows. The meadows no longer is productive and water moves through the system much faster in a concentrated form where it has a lot more erosive power and increases peak flows downstream in the lower watershed. One of the things that really pops out is that the meadow is gullying. That is, there are head cuts moving their way upstream. So as those head cuts move upstream, they are taking all that soil, that good healthy meadow soil that stores water, and they're flushing it downstream. Early in 2014, the USFS started work to design a project to restore the Long Valley Meadow in the Coconino National Forest to its former status as a functioning riparian area. However, due to current budget constraints, the USFS was not able to fund the project. In 2015, the AES Board of Directors voted to take on this restoration project and supply the funding and labor necessary to restore Long Valley Meadow. To date, the AES has retained natural channel designs out of Flagstaff to develop the engineering study and scope of work that will be needed to fully restore this meadow. What we're trying to do is figure out how we can either bring the meadow system back up so it acts like it formerly did as a big sponge, or in areas where we can't do that, where it's eroded too much, to spread it back out into a stable meandering channel that works through the meadow system in a stable form and will be stable for a long period of time. We want the water to spread out over the meadow like it used to do and soak into the meadow soils. The Arizona Elk Society is partnering with the U.S. Forest Service, the Arizona Game and Fish, and other organizations. One of the things that's special about this partnership is the level of dedication delivered by the Arizona Elk Society to doing a complete and comprehensive restoration work in this important riparian area that will benefit all wildlife, threatened and endangered, non-game, and game species alike. The focus of the AES, obviously, is to benefit elk. However, all the projects the Arizona Elk Society accomplishes benefits all wildlife in the areas where we do the work. The Arizona Elk Society volunteers will be providing the bulk of the labor needed to restore the meadow. 
The Arizona Elk Society is comprised of over 600 dedicated volunteers, and we are getting a phenomenal amount of work done here in Arizona. When we meet groups like the Arizona Elk Society, who brings in an abundant amount of human power, it gives us the opportunity to work on such diverse projects as removing dilapidated fencing from inactive grazing allotments to building head cut control structures to stabilize head cuts and restore stream channel function to thinning conifers that are encroaching on meadows. So the process of restoring the landscape is sped up. To be perfectly frank, uh, the Arizona Elk Society has been a primary driver in ensuring that this work is getting done on the ground, holding all the stakeholders, including the Fish and Wildlife Service, the Forest Service, and Game and Fish, accountable to make sure the work gets done and gets done timely and gets done right. We can't make more land, we can't make more habitat, but we can restore and enhance what we do have for future generations. Conservation is not only important to the consumptive game users, it's important to all the citizens of Arizona. The next step will include scheduling the volunteers, procuring the materials and tools necessary, hiring contractors, and starting the restoration work in the spring of 2016. Funding for this project is being provided by the Arizona Elk Society, along with grants from our partners in conservation. The Arizona Elk Society is committed to landscape scale projects here in Arizona, and we are looking for sponsors to commit with us.